Well now this, this I believe may just be one of the greatest ways to end a month. Wilson's magnificent beard, Weber's silky smooth beard, Woody's default beard, beard leans, beard lords, and lots and lots of beard hair. So let's talk all things beards and perhaps share some beard envy along the way. Yeah, yeah, Wilson is supposed to be a no good wannabe sciencey guy who is somehow worse in the constant than he was out of it, but come on now. His special power is growing a frickin' beard, so what's not the like? And four days of survival equals a short beard here, while seven days will give you a long beard, which I greatly approve, and then 15 days of hairy survival will grace your face with the most magnificent thing you have ever seen. Each stage not only provides some insulation against the winter freezing all the way up to 135 total, which is actually pretty darn helpful, but each provides a varying amount of beard hair when shaven. And here's how that's done. With a razor. Duh. Ignore the harsh description of the thing, make one, right click on it, and sadly it'll be bye bye beard. A short beard grants one hair. A long, three hairs, and a magnificent gives nine hairs for your trouble. Oh, and shaving restores ten sanity as well, which I find highly debatable. However, before we discuss the hairy side of things further, let's get silky smooth. Weber's beard here comes in way faster than Wilson's, taking only nine days to reach full silky smooth beards. That being said, not only does Weber benefit from less insulation overall for his facial sacrifice at only a max of 67.5, but only six silk will be dropping upon a potential shave of the highest growth. Still, a quick, accessible, constantly growing bundle of the sticky white stuff right on your face is pretty awesome. But let us not forget our local lumberjack in all this beard talk. Woody may not grow one out during his time surviving, but he does one better. He simply already has one. The beard gives him a default insulation of 45, which ain't great, no, but it's still the middle of the pack for sure. Only maximum beards for both Wilson and Weber will beat it. However, my favorite aspect of Woody's beard, he will refuse to shave it even just a little bit. Now that's more like it. Oh. Quick note before we move on though, the beards may be phenomenal for additional warmth when the white stuff is falling. However, come summertime, it may be best to lay them the rest. Yes, even Weber's beard will be a bit too much, so I'm sorry little ones. You're just too hot in more ways than you know. But what is beard hair used for exactly? Well, not much unfortunately, which is just blasphemy. Most out there will already know of the meat effigies, but let's discuss them anyways. Contrary to Solo Don't Starve, building an effigy does not actually lower your maximum health in Don't Starve together, which is quite lovely. However, since we're supposed to be playing together, players have to attune, aka just click on or be the one to craft an effigy in order for them to be able to potentially use them and doing so costs 40 health when you are the one who crafted it, or if you're one just attuning one you didn't craft. But enough faff, let's say you and the locals had some beef and you totally didn't lose, so when not embarrassingly dead, you'll have an option to revive at the effigy right below your stats. So do so and live once more. However, beware the resurrection penalties, as they will be setting your hunger at two-thirds full, your sanity at half, and your health at 50. So yeah, you may live to die another day, but you ain't looking that great either. Bernie is another craft that will require the stuff, and thankfully, unless you really neglect them or heck just lose them, one Bernie craft should be all you need. And of course, Willow is the only one who fully benefits from him and that holding him grants a sanity boost as well as a teensy tiny amount of insulation, but also from Bernie's protective instincts when it comes to Willow's nightmares of all sorts, mind you. 2000 health, 
50 damage and takes the heat off Willow herself. Man, I really should explore Bernie's possibilities more. And yes, that is it on the uses of beard hair pretty much. However, I will still list a few sources of the stuff beyond Wilson's face. Beardlings are rabbits that have transformed when our sanity falls below 40%. They truly are an act just like normal rabbits, so do not overthink them. And even though their chances for dropping beard hair is only 20%, it's still one of the safer options of getting the stuff when not playing as or being near a Wilson. That is, unless you play smart and take care of beard lords one at a time. Beard lords are bunnymen that too have transformed, given that our sanity is below 40%. And these guys are guaranteed to drop two beard hair each time, which is absolutely grand. Intentionally or unintentionally lower your sanity, wait till it's morning on the surface, find a bunnyman village perhaps, and then just hammer their houses one at a time and kill them one at a time. Just be careful not to get munched to death. Beard lords deal 60 damage each. Watch yourself. Also, you might want to watch yourself near the most terrifying mob in the entire game. Blue monkeys. Shadow blue monkeys, that is. They too drop beard hair every time. But unless you set up a safe farm or you isolate a few, I'd really go one of the other routes. And one last little fun note before we ramp. Wilson, with this full magnificent beard, either a puffy or high bear nation vest, a beefalo hat, and a hot thermal is by far the highest amount of insulation you can achieve in the entire game, exceeding over 700 plus total. You'd have to be the worst player ever in order to freeze, but it's pretty much impossible. I say good luck with it. I will also mention that tumbleweeds have a chance to provide some beard hairs, but the chances are just so abysmal that you should just do as you wish, I suppose. But there you have it, everyone. Just a simple little fun guide on beards and stuff just to end the month. Magnificently not so smooth for the win. Thanks for watching, well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.